Hi, welcome back. So, in the last video, you have seen how to make an edge reaction robot. So, using the same kit, I will show you how to make an obstacle avoiding robot. So, for the obstacle avoiding robot, what you have to do is remove the IR sensor, remove the 11 volt strip, remove the battery, remove all the connections given to this thing, and remain the chassis, wheels, motor driving module, and a motor as it is. So, let's take a look at how it looks after removing all the things. So this is how your chassis, motor driving module, two motors, wheels and a caster wheel should look. So this is the main base frame for all the three robots. So this frame suits for all the three robots. If you have the base of this, you can make all the three robots work possible and easy. So now let's take a look at the circuit diagram of obstacle avoiding robot. So this is the obstacle avoiding robot circuit. So there is so there is one add-on feature for this obstacle avoiding kit. So that thing is breadboard. So the breadboard is this one. The breadboard with the 7404 IC connected to it. So what we have to do is we need to take this breadboard, we need to peel off the back, the sticker, and it should look something like this. And then we need to stick it on the board like this. So, place the breadboard like this, nearer to the motor driving module. So, after doing this, let's do the wire connections. So, for this thing, so for the obstacle avoiding robot, we're gonna need to IR sensors. So as I have shown you already how to connect the IR sensors, what you have to do is take the two-sided tape and stick it behind that thing. So take the two-sided tape, stick it behind the IR sensor and peel off the paper. So for the obstacle avoiding robot, how we need to place the IR sensor is you see the two holes over here and two holes over here, right? So for that, you need to place the IR sensor like this. Make sure the IR sensor is straight. So, place the IR sensors like this properly. So after this, let's see what are the connections to be made. As you can see in the circuit diagram, the left motor and the right motor should be connected to the motor driving module. It's already done, so it remains intact. So the battery connection adapter is also given. So what we need to do is the connections between these four things, the connections between IR sensor and the module, the connections between the IC, which is connected to the breadboard and to the module. So let's see how do we connect the wires. So for this, we're going to need male to female connections. We, we are using male to female connections because we are using breadboard over here. So the breadboard, the connections over here in the breadboard is that the pin over here, the this notch represents, this notch should be always be on the left side of the board so, so that we can count it properly. So the pin which is below the notch is the pin number one. The pin number one is the first pin. This is called pin number two. This is called pin number three. Pin number four, five, six, seven. Pin number eight. Pin number nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is a 14 pin IC where the, the series over here are all connected to the one pin. So if you connect a wire over here and a wire over here, both acts as the same connection as much as it is connected to this pin. So what we are going to do is the connection for this pin can be given to any of this thing. So the connection of pin number two can be given to any of these holes. So the same thing can be done to all the pins and all the holes. So now let's see the connection. For the obstacle avoiding robot, we're going to need both female to female jumper cables and male to female jumper cables. So male to female jumper cables are used to connect the breadboard and the motor driving module and the female to female 
jumper cables are used to connect the IR sensor and the module. So as you can see here, the IR sensor is given to positive ground and positive ground. As I already mentioned in the earlier videos, plus 5 volts is also called as VCC and ground is also called as minus 5 volts. And the third pin is the IR output pin. So as you can see the connections, according to this we need to place the chassis. So as you can see here, the ground and uh, VCC is already connected and here also the ground and VCC is already connected. So we need to do the connections accordingly. I am going to take a female to female jumper cable. I am connecting it to the VCC. And after that I am connecting here to the VCC. VCC is plus 5 volts. I am taking the second cable. I am connecting it to the ground. And here I am connecting it to the ground. Which is also minus 5 volts. So I am taking other two pins which is connected to the VCC, VCC is plus 5 volts, I am giving it to the plus 5 volts and I am taking another cable and giving it to the ground which is also called as minus 5 volts. As we have already mentioned in the earlier videos, the VCC ground output, the VCC ground output is already mentioned on the board. You just have to take a look at it and then do the connections. Make sure the board, the breadboard and the motor driving board, the IC is connected likewise like the entire circuit diagram. So as you can see, the circuit diagram looks like the board and the chassis connected to it. As you can see, the motor driving module is over here and the breadboard which is connected to the IC pin number is over here. So you just have to do the connections likewise. So now, what you have to do is, you need to see the notch over here. You can see the notch over here, right? The same notch is also over here. So the connection should be proper. Now what we have to do is, first we need to do the ground and the plus 5 volts connection properly. So the pin number 7 is ground. As you can see, as I already mentioned, the pin number which is below the notch is pin number 1. So from the pin number 7 is over here. So we need to connect pin number 7 to ground. What we, so that what we have to do is, we need to take a male to female jumper cable and connect it to pin number 7. So as I already mentioned, the entire row is full of pin number 7. So you can keep, place it to any one pin and take that wire and connect it to ground. So ground is minus 5 volts, already I have mentioned it in the previous videos. And now the second connection is plus 5 volts. So for the, for the plus 5 volts, it's below this notch. So it's below this notch. So it's pin number 14. So pin number 14 is plus 5 volts. Just need to take the pin number 14 and give it plus 5 volts. Okay. So the connections of these two is done. So what we have to do is, we have to take the connection from the IR sensor 1 and IR sensor 2. The output from the IR sensor 1 is given to pin number 3. As you can see, as I already mentioned, the pin below this thing or above this thing is pin number 1, pin number 2, pin number 3, pin number 4, pin number 5, 6 and 7. It's already mentioned. So, the IR sensor is given to pin number 3 and as well as pin number 1 from the motor driving module. So, for this what we have to do is, we have to take a female to male jumper cable connect it to the IR sensor and give it to the pin number 3 and I also mentioned earlier that the entire row of pin number 3 is free so that we can take another male to female jumper cable and connect it from here to pin number 1 of the motor driving module so I'll show you how it's done properly so take a female to male jumper cable this as you already know this is IR sensor 1 and this is IR sensor 2 so what we have to do is take the male to female above up, I, I, uh, jumper cable and connect to the pin number 1 and give it to the pin number 3 of the IC so it's connected to pin number 
it's connected to the output of the IR sensor and it is given to the pin number 3. Pin number 1, pin number 2 and pin number 3. So I can place it anywhere in this entire row. So I place that thing over there. So also the IR sensor output should be given to the motor driving module 1. So what I have to do is I am going to take another male to female jumper cable and I am connecting I am taking the output from the pin number 3 and giving it to the motor driving module 1 so that the connection from the IR sensor is given to the pin number 3 as well as given to the motor driving module. So the same thing has to be done with the IR in output of the IR sensor 2. So let's take another wire and connect it, it to the pin number. So 8, 9, 10, 11. Pin number 11 we need to connect the IR sensor to. So we are going to take a female to male jumper cable, connect it to the output of the IR sensor 2 and we are going to connect it to the pin number 11. So we are going to take the pin, we are going to connect it to the pin number 11. So as we already said pin number 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 is over here. So the pin number 11 is also connected to the motor driving module pin number 4 of the motor driving module. So for the pin number 4 of the motor driving module what I am doing is I am taking the output from the pin number 11 and giving it to the pin number 4 of the motor driving module. So I am taking another male to female pin, I am taking the output from 11 and giving it to the pin number 4 of the motor driving module. Make sure the connection is proper or the output won't come. So after connecting the IR sensor to output to the motor driving module and the IR sensor sorry and the board what we have to do is the remaining two connections should be done. So the remaining two connections are from the motor driving module pin number 2 and pin number 3. So as you can see the motor driving module pin number 2 is given to the pin number 4 and the motor driving module 3 pin number is given to motor pin number 9 sorry 10. So what we have to do is we need to take two jumper cables we need to connect it through a female to male jumper cable and what I am doing here is I am connecting a jumper cable from the pin number 2 of the motor driving module I am connecting to the motor driving module pin number 2 I am taking the output from the motor driving module 2 here from the motor driving module 2 and I am connecting it to the pin number 4 so all, 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 as I already mentioned pin number 1, 2, 3 and 4 the pin number 4 is here and I am going to connect it to the pin number 4 so 90% of our connection is done. So now what we have to do is we need to take another female to male jumper cable and connect it from pin number 3 to pin number 10 as shown in the circuit diagram. So pin number 3 to pin number 10 of the IC. So I am taking another jumper cable I am connecting it to pin number 3 of the motor driving module. and giving it to the pin number 10 so the connections of our the obstacle avoiding robot is done so now what we have to do is cross check the motor connections and all the connections so if you know everything is fine now what we have to do is take the battery and then we need to check for the motor connection is proper or not so if the motor runs forward it's perfectly alright. So if the motor runs backward, as I said in, in already in other videos, you need to interchange the connections between the motor cables. So let's see how the motor one runs. As you can see, the motor is running backwards. So as I said you earlier, what you have to do is interchange the cables. 
So now I will be interchanging the cables. Now I will interchange the connection of the motor. Let's see how it works. As you see, we leave the obstacle avoiding robot. So what it's doing is, it's finding the obstacle and it's turning away. So this is the function of an obstacle avoiding robot. Thank you. Please subscribe to our channel. And for more videos, subscribe our channel and give a like. If you have any doubts, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you.